Hello everyone! I believe I'm already live sa ating uh, training session today. So, let me just um, double check kung tayo ay maayos na nakaset up. If you guys can see me, please type in yes. And if you can hear me fine, please just let me know. Yes, I can hear you fine. And then, uh, before we start. So, para sa mga first time na mag-join ng live training session natin. Uh, so, welcome sa inyong lahat. And uh, ako po si Shella. Ako po ay uh, isang freelancer. And ako po ay may currently dalawang client. So, in this page, I am teaching you guys on how you can get started. Uh, how you can start working online. And yung topic natin for today is... Uh, I will teach you or give you, uh, I will share to you my knowledge. Ano ba yung tamang way sa pag-select ng client natin? And yun. Okay? So, I hope naririnig nyo ako ng maayos. I'm still checking here kung maayos nga ba tayo. Okay. So, I hope naririnig nyo ako ng maayos. Okay. Medyo may feedback lang. Alright. Alright. Yes, I can hear you fine. Yes, yes. All right. Hello. Hi, Mommy Rose. Andito din si Maribel. Relea, Oriza, Micah. Hi, Glo. Andito si Glo. Cindy. Lynn. Okay, yes, clear. All right. So, um, for, for this session, ito ay para sa mga nag-iisip kung paano ba uh, mamimili ng client. Pwede, pwede to sa mga wala pang experience, pero uh, pwede din to, or mas, I believe, mas makakatulong to sa mga uh, freelancers or sa mga virtual assistants na hindi nag-grow sa kanilang career kasi hindi pa nila nakikita yung uh, client na talagang magbibigay or makakatulong sa kanila to reach their full potential and magkaroon ng direction yung career path. So, uh, ang goal ng session natin today is to give you guys clarity. Ano ba yung dapat na, ano ba yung in-expect sa atin ng mga clients at ano ba yung dapat in um, expectations din natin sa mga clients na uh, na, mag, na mag-hire sa atin. Okay, so, Um, if you are someone na gustong magkaroon ng work, syempre, dapat may skills ka. And therefore, yung kabilang party naman is si client, meron siyang business, so meron siyang hinahanap din na skills. ba? Diba? And therefore, yung dalawang parties na yun, yung VA and yung client, meron silang expectations. So, dun sa... You, nag, nag-iiba-iba yung expectations depende sa klase ng business depende din kung uh, ano yung experience mo right? so um, today, i-discuss ko kung ano ba yung mga expectations ng mga businesses at ano ba yung mga klase ng mga, kasi nag-iiba-iba yung expectations ng mga business depende sa kung gaano nakalaki yung business nila Depende kung gano'ng kalaki yung team. So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin uh, today para magkaroon din kayo ng linaw. So, hopefully, kahit meron tayo may, may mga background noise, but I hope that naririnig nyo ka ng uh, maayos. Okay? So, yun. So, uh, let me just uh, check. If this is your first time, put in hashtag uh, live and then first time. Tapos sabihin nyo din sa akin kung tagasend kayo. And if it is your second time, then put in hashtag live and then kung tagasend kayo. Okay? So, hello Let, Jemima, Catherine, Juneline, Grace, Eunice, Myla, hello, Micah. Okay. Alright. So, we are... <laughs> Alright. So, we are going to start the discussion. Ang topic... And gaya nung sinabi ko kanina, yung topic natin is how to choose your client that suits your skills and personality. So, ang unang-unang pumapasok sa isipan natin bago tayo mag-work sa bahay, iniisip natin na parang same lang na uh, 
i-hire nyo ako, tapos mag-work ako sa inyo. Then, um, yung, yung experience ko, um, kailang, uh, yung, yung experience na meron ako, uh, kahit konti pa lang yan, uh, kaya kong uh, palaguin yan, and therefore, pwede nyo akong tanggapin. So, ganun yung ina-expect natin, di ba? Kahit sa corporate or sa freelancing world, ganun naman. So, meron tayong skills, meron tayong iyo offer, then merong work or client or company na tatanggap sa atin. And, um, pero kasi, ang problem doon, masyadong broad yon. And, when it comes to online work, medyo naiiba ng konti. Uh, naiiba in a way na yung klase ng work ng mga online, uh, yung mga nag-freelance, is something na hindi tinuturo sa school. Yun yung unang factor. Hindi siya, hindi siya, kumbaga, yung math, <laughs> science, Filipino, yung mga ganong subjects, hindi talaga siya directly nakakatulong para mapataas yung skills. That's why medyo unique din kapag mag-work ka sa bahay dahil kahit hindi ka nakagraduate, kahit hindi ka... Uh, sabihin natin, honor student, then it's okay. Kasi, ang basehan dito is yung skills mo. So, um, what I what I would like us guys to understand before we jump into freelancing, lalo na kung ikaw ay may work na ngayon as a freelance or a virtual assistant, ang labanan is you have to enhance your skill. And paano mo i-enhance i- yung skill mo? Um, ang pinakamagandang way is for you to have a clear path. I mean, I mean, clear career path. Kumbaga, alam mo kung saan papunta yung career mo as a freelancer. Hindi lang yung, uh, ako kunin ko to. Tapos, tapos, kapag ka natanggap ka, then maganda. Tapos, kapag nawala na yung business, back to zero ka ulit. So, hindi maganda siyang structured. Ganun yung ginagawa ko dati. And mahirap. So, ngayon, natutunan ko in my experience na para talaga mas tumagal ka sa work, para mas madali ka makakakuha ng client, you should have clear career path for yourself. And super makakatulong din yun sa career, I mean, sa personal development mo. Okay? Ang importante lang natin, ang, ang, ang goal ng session natin ngayon is for us to have a clear um, perspective. Diba meron na, so sinabi ko na dapat may career path tayo. Pero dito sa session na to, ang pag-uusapan natin is, kung meron kang career path, dapat alam mo kung sino yung mga business or yung mga clients na suitable para sa'yo. Okay? Um, depende kasi yon sa iyong skills, depende sa iyong experience. So, uh, yun yung pag-uusapan natin. Alright? Okay, let me just... Um, Show the next slide here. Okay. So, ito yung three factors. Ako, personally, ito yung three factors na iniisip ko before ako kumuha ng client. Una, syempre, monetary compensation. Kung kaya ba niyang i-meet yung financial needs ko, um, syempre, uh, napaka-importante yung factor to mag nagbabayad ka ng bills, to support my family mo, and you have dreams to save money for yourself para sa future or investment. So, importante yung monetary compensation. Pero hindi lang kasi nababase yun doon. Um, pwede tayong magkaroon ng work na malaki yung sweldo, tapos um, maganda yung ginagawa natin, pero kapag nawala yung business, hindi tayo nag-grow as a professional. Mahihirapan tayong makakuha ulit ng client. Um, ang difference din dito sa kapag sa online work sa cor- uh, versus the corporate is sa, most of the time sa freelancing, wala kang contract. So, the client can just say, oh, we should stop working o na bankrupt na tayo. So, hindi ka dapat nagde-depend sa client mo. Nagde-depend ka dapat sa skills mo and sa strategy mo na makakuha ka ng next client mo. Okay? Pero, um, pag-pick ng client, importante yung monetary uh, compensation. Nag-iiba-iba tayo dito kasi iba-iba yung needs natin. Um, halimbawa ko, wala naman akong family. I mean, wala akong, sarili, wala akong mga anak. So, medyo mas maluwag ang aking um, budget para, or kumbaga hindi ako pressured 
na gano'n, na dapat malaki yung sahod, ganyan-ganyan. And, pero naman sa mga may family na, iba, pa di, iba naman yung pressure kapag may family ka na. So, napaka-importante yung factor yon And the next factor is yung work lifestyle. Work lifestyle, um, lalo to sa mga um, hindi pwedeng magpuyat, so, so yung mga graveyard na schedule, so hindi pwede yon O kaya naman sa mga moms, mga busy, so hindi talaga nila kaya in one sitting na 8 hours, nakafocus siya doon kasi wala magbabantay sa anak niya. So, ang work lifestyle, depende yan kung gusto mo ba na flexible yung schedule mo, kung may schedule ka ba. So, yan yung mga factors na iniisip ko. Kalimbawa, may nag-offer sa akin, malaki nga yung sahod, pero hindi siya flexible or hindi siya, hindi siya yung ganung gusto ko na lifestyle. Kasi gusto nila halimbawa mag-online ako ng 9pm to 6am. So, kahit malaki yung, yung compensation na yun, I will not go to that uh, or hindi ko tatanggapin yung offer na yun kasi hindi siya suitable sa lifestyle na gusto ko. Right? So, an- and another factor, yung pangatlong factor, is yung personality and vision ng client mo. So, para sa akin, napaka-importante to, especially, um, madaming businesses online na minsan, scammy, o kaya naman ang luloko ng tao. I mean, oo, pinapasweldo ka nila, oo, kumikita ka, pero hindi pala maganda. O kaya naman, hindi siya uh, aligned sa mga uh, sa, sa mga uh, values mo. So, Alimbawa, um, yung company selling like uh, mga, may mga adult content na digital products. So, importante pa rin na yung business ni client mo is hindi scammy, hindi against sa values mo, and nakikita mo merong vision yung company. So, I will discuss this na mas uh, detailed pa para magkaroon kayo ng idea. Pero, um, kahit nagsisimula ka pa lang or kung may existing client ka na, I really encourage you guys to um, decide wisely. And, um, div- ang ako kasi, the, the reason I transitioned from corporate the freelancing is because gusto ko talaga magkaroon ng lifestyle na gusto ko. So, for example, um, nung nasa corporate setup pa ako, hindi ako pwedeng mag-off ng um, weekdays. So, hindi ako uh, hindi ako pwedeng mag-off ng weekends. So, hindi ko siya gusto kasi gusto ko nag-church ako pag Sunday. So, um, yun, yung, yun yung mga limitations ko nung ako ay nag-work pa sa corporate setup. Pero ngayon, na nandito na ako sa freelancing, sinasa- I can work anytime I want. And pwede akong magpunta kung meron akong lakad. Tapos, mag-work na lang ako pag uwi ko, yung mga ganun. So, it is the kind of life that I want to have. And therefore, um, yun lagi yung binibida ng mga uh, nagbib- nagbibenta ng course, di ba? Sinasabi nila that you will have that kind of life that you want. Pero kasi, in order for you to get there, meron kang, um, meron ka muna ang pagdadaanan na proseso. Hindi agad-agad magiging makukuha mo yung gusto mo. So, uh, papakita ko sa inyo guys para magkaroon tayo ng clear understanding ano ba yung in-expect sa atin ng ating clients. Okay? Um, I hope na share ko to ng maayos. But so far, guys, is this, um, is what I'm sharing you um, helpful? Let me know, guys, kung ito ay helpful sa inyo while I am setting this up. May interruption. Bagal ng net. Good afti. True. Ang tagal kong na. <laughs> Ayun. Wow, live from Seattle. Hello, Lynn. 
live from QC, Malabon, Tandang Sora. Okay, so, yan. Um, welcome sa inyo. Um, nag-start na ako ng discussion, so hopefully nakahabol po kayo. Um, I would like to share yung aking ginawa na uh, comparison. This, this kind of uh, table will help us understand ano ba yung dapat in-expect natin sa mga businesses natin, uh, sa mga business ng clients or sa mga, sa mga clients natin. Iniisip kasi ng marami na um, ah, kapag nag-work ako, dapat I am, I am uh, people should pay me ng ganitong amount, ganyan. Pero hindi nila naiintindihan na um, oo, <laughs> wala namang gustong nag-work ng mababang sahod and sa uh, sa side ng mga employers or hindi ko nila lahat ng mga employers talaga na nag nagte-take advantage pero kasi um, it's the reason bakit madalas hindi nabibigay yung malaking sahod lalo na ng mga uh, ibang clients is because nagsisimula pa lang yung business nila so those are the factors din na kailangan natin isipin. Um, and yun yung i-discuss ko. And then, ano yung ini-expect ng mga clients sa atin isa-isa. Okay? So, pero kasi hindi ko, hindi ko, <laughs> hindi ko maano, hindi ko ma-share ng, hindi ko ma-share ng maayos yung table. But hopefully, um, hopefully makita nyo pa rin siya. Wait. Um, okay. Ang gusto ko lang din pala malaman guys, sino dito yung may client na, sino dito yung wala pang client. So if you have a client, yes, I have a client, type in co- a comment niyo, I have a client. Kapag wala pa, I don't have still working on it. Okay? Para lang din bakit ko yung sinasabi, hindi para po ipahiya kayo or whatever, para po sa community natin, malaman na hindi tayo dito nagpapagalingan that we are honest to each other and gusto natin tulungan yung isa't isa. Marami kasi sa atin, for example, maybe marami sa inyo na reject lang dito ng previous interview nyo and yung community natin, ang pinaka-purpose talaga nun is for us to really feel na hindi tayo nag-iisa kasi naranasan ko yun yung parang feeling mo, wala kang pupuntahan kasi hindi ka natatanggap, kasi hindi ka nahahire, or iba yung nahahire, hindi ikaw. Laging thank you letter yung nakukuha mo. So, um, be, ay, hindi ko sinasabing be proud na nare-reject tayo, but let's just uh, be honest sa isa't isa, kasi hindi natin kapag kasi sinabi natin, oh, ako din, nagahanap pa din ako, pero go lang. Alam mo yan, mas nakaka encourage yon para sa mga tao na ano na na, na nanghihina yung loob. Meron din naman diyan, uy nakakuha ko ng client sa sabihin niya. Oh talaga, paano mo ano ano bibigyan mo naman ako ng tips. So mas healthy yung kaganong klase ng community kaysa yung magpapataasan tayo, yung parang nagsisinungaling tayo sa isa't isa na ah, ganto ako, ah, ganyan ako, ganyan. So it's not healthy. I'm trying I'm really trying my best to share the link of the of the spreadsheet pero pero mukhang hindi ko siya ma-share. Let's see. Um Okay, habang habang hindi ko pa na set up, uh, I'll I'll go to the next um topic which is about monetary compensation. The reason bakit iba-iba ang kung bakit yung iba, bakit kaya yung client ko ang baba-baba magbigay? Bakit kaya siya ang laki-laki niya ng, ng pinibigay? So, discuss ko lang yun. Iba-ibang, um, masasabing ang mga clients online, iba-iba sila ng business. Merong malaking large enterprise. Ang employee nila is more than 250 people and malaki yung income nila. Like, approximately 50 euros. And then, medium enterprise, sabihin natin, 250, uh, uh, fewer than 250, pero meron silang 50, um, sorry, is this, um, is this 50 million? Ah, uh, uh, no, uh, not less than, I mean, not more than 
50 million. So, ito yung range ng mga kinikita nila. So, if you will think about it, guys, kung itong mga client natin is hindi naman sila kumikita pa ng malaki dahil kakasimula pa lang nila, do you think na mag-grow yung business nila kung susweldohan nila kayo agad ng malaki? Di ba hindi? So, um, ang key, ang, ang kailangan natin, i- ibukas din natin yung isip natin na um, the reason why um, pero ang ang tinakaan mare-recommend ko talaga guys is you start with um wag naman yung one dollar per hour sobra sobrang baba naman yun I mean hindi siya hindi kayo masusustain nun I believe um three uh, dollars per hour it's good to start lalo na kung wala ka pang experience lalo na kung kailangan mo na so that's good um or anything close to that so, pero yung super baba, I, I really don't recommend you guys getting those kinds of, or working with those kinds of clients. Okay? Um, ang reason ko is, um, bakit natin kailangan yung open yung mga <laughs> isipan natin na we can start at the low rate? Um, it's because, hindi dahil sa mababa yung tingin natin sa sarili natin. It's because, um, yung business na mag-hire sa atin is posibleng wala talaga sila pang means to give us the salary. So, pero, magaling naman yung, yung client mo, matalino yung client mo, and naniniwala ka na mag, magiging maganda yung business niya. So, why not support that client kahit hindi pa masyadong maganda yung business? Pero kasi, hindi ko sinasabi to para sa lahat. Sinasabi ko to, iba-iba kasi yung need ng ating yung, uh, yung financial needs natin. So, if you really cannot stay with that kind of client na nagsisimula pa lang, then you should go find the client na talagang kumikita na. Alright? Um, um, yung mga micro, may mga micro enterprise na malaki naman yung kinikita and they can compensate you like, let's say, six uh, six dollars per hour. So, may mga ganun naman. May mga micro enterprise or may mga micro enterprise or micro-business owners na kaya magpasweldo ng $6 per hour, which is, you know, parang super good na yun, lalo na kung ikaw ay nagsisimula pa lang. Pero, um, really, it's okay to start at $3 per hour. And really, um, ang ipapakita ko dito, hindi ko mapapakita yata yung spreadsheet ko, nakakalungkot naman. <laughs> Ayan. So, sige. Tignan ko lang yung comments nyo. Still working on it. Still in corporate setup. Just preparing to get there. I want po palalala, pero not enough. <laughs> still working on it. Still working on it. Guys, and dami pang wala pang client. Do you can see? Do you do you realize? Ang dami naghahanap ng mga ng mga I mean, nag- ang daming naghahanap ng work. And therefore, mahirap talaga. So, whenever we get rejected, huwag nyo iisipin na hindi ka magaling. It's just that mahirap yung competition. Pero kasi, <laughs> kailangan din natin malaman ano ba yung mga mali kong ginagawa para uh, ano ba yung mga dapat kong alam para para mas ano ko, mas, mas maging knowledgeable ako. ba So, Ang key lang dito, guys, is alamin natin kung ano yung mga dapat natin malaman. Uy, nakita ko na yung spreadsheet. Okay. Yan. <laughs> Alright. So, nakakatulong that we have this kind of community na alam natin na mahirap yung ginagawa natin. But because we really want to have that kind of lifestyle, we really want to spend time sa ating family, then, you know, Ano yun, kumbaga, mas may inspire ka pa din na, na magpatuloy kasi alam mo sa sarili mo na um, kahit mahirap, eh, tumutuloy ka pa rin. Kasi um, alam mo na may mararating ka, kagaya nung iba, kagaya nung nasa community natin, kagaya ko. <laughs> Ayun, so let me share, let me share this. I think nakuha ko na ng maayos. Um, hmm. Halos, halos uh, 80% yata wala pang work and then yung iba may meron ng client. Um, and that's okay guys. Which really, lahat tayo nagsisimula sa 
Tsaka, alam nyo, <laughs> nung nag-start ako, akala ko makakakuha ko agad kasi kala ko, may, may, may experience naman ako eh. Magaling naman ako mag-English eh. Computer engineering graduate naman ako eh. So, ganun ko iniisip. Pero hindi pala. Marami palang, marami pala akong dapat pang malaman. And hindi pala ganun pala talaga kadali. So, yung mali lang na ginagawa ko nun is iniisip ko na, ah, baka hindi para sa akin to. Ah, baka hindi ako talaga magaling. Kung baga, nawalan, nawalan na ako ng tiwala sa sarili ko. And I am here reminding you na kayang-kaya nyo. Okay. Yes. Ito yung issue share ko sa inyo, guys. Yan. So, as you can see, dito sa um, table na to, yung mga micro-enterprise na business, meron silang, um, meron silang, ito, uh, meron akong mga criteria na nilagay dyan. Task designation, cash flow, skills needed, professional experience needed, responsibility, risk of business fail, growth, and maturity of business. Alright? So, tingnan nyo ha. Uh, guys, babasahin ko yung mga comments nyo later on ha. Tapusin lang natin yung discussion. Okay, so, nakikita nyo dito guys, yung mga micro-enterprise, task designation, ibig sabihin ng several positions, ang dami mong ginagawa jaan sa sa client na yan. Kasi maliit lang. Ikaw lang yung team member niya pwede or dalawa kayong team member niya pwede. So, marami kang gagawin. Ang cash flow dyan, minimal. Kasi nag-start pa lang siya. Ang skills na kailangan dyan, competitive. Ibig sabihin ng competitive, um, hindi kailangan may experience ka na VA. Ang kailangan lang, alam mong gumamit ng computer, alam mo gumamit ng software, alam mo makinig sa instructions, alam mo mag-research, alam mong mag-fulfill uh, mag ng tasks. Yan yung skills needed, okay? Yung professional experience needed, hindi kailangan professional, hindi kailangan may experience ka na as VA. Ang kailangan, ang pinaka-requirement lang dito is magkaintindihan kayo ni client at masusunod mo yung mga instructions na pinapagawa niya and makakapag-achieve kayo ng mga success sa mga tasks na binibigay niya sa'yo. And risk of business fail is huge. So, ito din yung gusto kong iset sa inyo na kapag ka si client nyo is nag-start pa lang, ang laki-laki ng possibility na mababankrupt si client. That's why, the more that you should focus on improving your skills, the more that you should focus, or the more that you should be aware na hindi ka dapat dependent kay client mo. And then, growth. When I say growth, this is personal growth, career growth. Huge yun kasi ang daming ipapagawa sa'yo ni client mo na hindi mo alam pero aaralin mo. And therefore, as time goes on, mas nagle-learn ka, mas na mas na mas mas nahahasa yung skills mo. Okay? So these are um and yung maturity ng business is still young. Maybe less than 5 years or maybe less than a year. So yun yung mga possible scenarios. So this is the setup of a general VA, okay? Ngayon, um let's say yung small, sabihin natin um yung 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 based doon sa sinabi ko kanina meron siyang less than uh, uh, more than 10 employees na kunwari so yung task designation niyan that may team na yan yung mga small business niyan so may team na sila so meron na siguro silang taga bookkeep may 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 bookkeeper may so social media meron taga gawa ng content meron taga manage ng website so hindi mo na po problemahin lahat-lahat yon Slightly defined na. Kung baga, limbawa, binigyan ka ako. Ako, I believe I am here sa VA specialized. Kasi, um, I am a VA and at the same time, I focus on social media marketing. And yun yung social, yung social media marketing, yun yung skill na ini-improve ko. Alright? Slightly defined dahil... Um, Sometimes, pinapagawa, niya ako, pinapagawa ko ni client ng mga non-social media tasks. For example, um, pwede mo ba akong i-research ng gantong software? Ganyan. Or let's say, um, can you respond to this person? So, ako din yung mag email Or can you update my diary? Pwede utusan ka ng ganon. So, slightly defined, pero overall, gumagawa ka pa rin ng mga tasks, admin tasks to support the business. 
And skills dito, highly competitive ka. Bakit? Kasi meron ka ng definite task na ginagawa and you should be good at it. Especially, for example, sa akin, social media. Kapag hindi ko ginalingan ang pag-aaral ko sa social media, hindi mag-grow yung business or hindi kami makaka-achieve ng maraming success kung um, hindi ko hindi hindi effective yung campaigns, yung strategies, right? Um, professional experience needed. Sometimes meron silang required na, limbawa, required na meron kang experience sa social media, required na meron kang ganyan. So, yan yung mga ina-expect sa atin ng mga small business owners. And of course, um, oh, I forgot to, to discuss about responsibility. So, when I say wide and huge, Ibig sabihin, malaki yung responsibility mo. It could mean that you will work um, sometimes um, parang full 8 hours and then on, on that full 8 hours, iba-iba yung tasks na ginagawa mo. So, wide and huge. Dito naman, full 8 hours kang nag-work pero hindi ganun ka-wide or hindi ganun ka-iba-iba yung ginagawa mo. So, yon. And then, dito sa large, as you can see, ang task designation sa mga large um, companies is defined. If you are a writer, magsusulat ka lang for them. If you are, let's say, content creator, video editor, yun lang yung gagawin mo sa kanila. Um, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Um... Ayan. So, uh, above average naman ang cash flow dito. And then, skills dito kailangan meron kang expertise kahit pa paano. Kasi this is a large company. Anything na mali yung magagawa mo or kapag hindi ka effective, then magsasuffer yung business. So, this large company, hindi sila pwedeng magsuffer. I mean, hindi sila pwedeng malugi. Meron na silang established processes. Meron silang established uh, expectations from you. So, dapat lang ng expert ka dyan. And then, must na meron kang professional experience. And then, define your responsibilities mo. Kung yun nga, yung sinabi ko kanina in task designation. And then, uh, risk of business fa fail is, risk of business failure is small lang. And then, growth is you have the chance to be really come an expert kasi yun lang yung ginagawa mo. And then, maturity of business established. So, these are the comparison, guys. Ngayon, um, do you see yourself dito? So, um, kung wala ka pang experience, wala kang professional experience, at hindi ganun kagaling yung skills mo, I say that you work with people na hindi ganun kataas yung expectations. Kasi sa totoo lang, guys, hindi din naman tayo matatanggap sa uh, work na iniisip na, uh, limbawa, hindi tayo tatanggapin ng mga malalaking companies samantalang wala pa tayong work experience. While these uh, small business owners or yung mga nagsisimula pa lang na business, this... Um, people, these entrepreneurs, ha, uh, mas, mas likely sila na makipag-work sa atin kahit wala pa tayong experience. Kasi, um, yun lang yung kaya nilang budget. Hindi sila makakapag-afford ng mas um, ng mas mahal na uh, uh, hour rate sa mga magagaling. So, di, di, binibigyan ko kayo ng picture ng magiging journey nyo so if if you if you have this clear career path for you, then dapat meron kang if a focus na skill. Kumbaga yung sinasabi nila na you guys can hear me fine. Medyo na interrupt dahil yata sa internet connection, but Guys, na interrupt no? But you guys can hear me sa audio ba? Tama ba? Nar naririnig nyo ba ako, guys? I think medyo may problem yung setup natin. Um, hold on.
Uh, you guys can hear me fine, ba? I, I, I'm not seeing the comments yet. So, let's see. Kung naririnig nyo nga ba ako nung maayos? Oh, mukhang hindi nyo nga ako naririnig. <clears throat> Mukhang hindi nyo nga ako naririnig. Let's see. Ayun. Okay na. Yes, na-interrupt from time to time. Okay. But I guess, but I guess nagig- naririnig nyo na ako, no? So, see. <clears throat> right. Okay. I think naririnig nyo naman na ako. Nang malinaw. <clears throat> Yes, I can hear you fine po. After the pause, I can see my sync yung video and audio. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> medyo, medyo, medyo mahirap yung internet connection yata ngayon. Medyo mabagal. But as long as you can hear me fine, that's good. Okay. So, I hope guys, um, clear to, itong, nasiset yung, nasiset ko yung expectations nyo. Kung, ano yung parang magiging journey nyo and ano yung mga expectations ng mga business owners sa inyo depending on uh, depending on their uh, on the status of status of their business. Okay? So, <clears throat> um, may question ba kayo regarding that? Medyo, medyo malabo ba? Let, let's see the comments. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Kunin natin. Miss Lala, I have my very first client sa Upwork yesterday line. Last night, I received an email from Upwork informing me that they would like to conduct a video chat profile verification. Do they really do that? They, um, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Kasi hindi ko, hindi ko ginamit yung ano, yung... yung um, Upwork dati. So, I'm not really sure. You can um, ask people na nasa Upwork po. Okay? Buffering, pero okay na. Okay. So, yan. Alright. Um, hmm. Wala. Okay. Mukhang nagbabuffer talaga siya. Um, hmm. Okay. It's, uh, I'm just setting it up para, para ma-check natin kung ano yung problem. Mukhang wala. Okay. Mukhang hindi talaga siya ma... Mukhang hindi talaga siya ma-check, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> hindi, 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 hindi nag-work. Okay. So, hopefully, hopefully guys, medyo clear tayo doon. Right? Um, hindi ko lang, hindi ko lang ma, 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 mabalik kanina yung setup natin, but that's okay. We will go to the next, um, to the next uh, criteria, personality and vision. So, ito yung mga gusto kong itanong nyo guys before or itanong nyo sa sarili nyo kung sa tingin nyo, alam ba wa, nakikipag-work ka na sa, sa, client, sa client mo ngayon. So, i-check mo lang kung sa tingin mo, 
mag itong client ba na ito ay <clears throat> talagang nagbibigay siya ng value sa yo as a freelancer when i say value like would you um for example kung meron kang alamawa yung asawa mo or yung kapatid mo would you recommend this client na makipag-work sa kanila kasi kung hindi then that person or that client is not good or not a good client for you to work with okay next is dun sa work na ginagawa mo are you proud that you are part of that kind of business So, yun yung sinasabi ko kanina na may mga businesses na sometimes um, medyo, ano, medyo, <laughs> medyo scammy or nandadaya. So, gusto mo ba talaga maging part ng company na yun? So, yun yung itatanong nyo sa sarili nyo. And then, next is, do you see yourself... Um, working with them next uh, in the next uh, five years. So, kumbaga, iisipin mo yung long term. Sa tingin mo ba maganda talaga silang um, co-work? So, yun yung mga bagay na pag-iisipan nyo. Next is, do you see your software? Uh, do you feel any burden talking or working with them? So, uh, hindi, hindi, hindi naman perfect lahat, pero as kapag ka, may mga clients kasi na sobrang magbigay ng workload halos parang tratuhin ka na ikala mo hindi ka hindi ka nag-aral or kumbaga hindi ka nila nirerespeto yung mga ganun so you feel burden so um napakaimportante noon kasi hindi tayo mag-grow as a professional kung um ganun yung mga klase ng mga client na makikipagtrabaho sa atin right okay next is yung ating uh, this one here. Oops. Yung ating work lifestyle. Let me just set that one up here. Yung sa work lifestyle, medyo na-touch ko na kanina, pero ang pinaka um, idea nung yung work lifestyle na sinasabi ko is Meron bang do, do you do you like how the client hands over the tasks? For example, may mga client na mahirap ka usap, kaya minsan nai-stress ka. So, yung stress mo minsan nakakaapekto sa health mo, nakakaapekto sa relationships mo. So, naapektuhan yung lifestyle mo. Minsan kasi may mga clients na magbibigay ng task tapos ang labo-labo nila kausap. Parang babato lang yung task tapos hindi mo hindi mo alam kung ano yung dapat talagang gawin on that specific task. So, mahirap ka, mahirap ka usap yung mga ganon. I'm not saying na kapag ganun yung client mo, is iiwanan mo na agad. Hindi naman. You should try your best na i-work out yung, yung communication, yung relationship. Kasi baka yung personality ng client mo is hindi siya pala explain. So, baka lang kailangan mo lang ulit magtanong. Baka kailangan mo lang ulit mag- Uh, uh, mag-follow up. So, it, uh, importante pa rin yung role mo as someone na talagang willing na mag-grow yung relationship between you and your client. Okay? Do you like your schedule? Gusto nyo ba yung work schedule nyo? And then, do you have a healthy lifestyle at the moment? So, kung yung work mo is masyado nang kinakain yung oras to the point na hindi mo naalagaan yung sarili mo, then, I believe na hindi ka mag-grow doon. Wala kang time na mag-aral sa sarili mo. Wala kang time na ma-improve yung, yung skills mo. So, I think that's not a healthy kind of work lifestyle. So, hindi ka mag-grow. Pwedeng kumikita ka pansamantala, pero mababurn out ka. And then, afterwards, mawawala yung client. Tapos, hindi mo na-improve yung portfolio mo. Or, hindi mo na-improve yung skills mo. So, hindi magandang strategy yung ganun. That's why I always encourage people that if you are looking for a client, um, importante na, aside sa pera, importante yung lifestyle and yung personality ng client and yung overall well-being mo kapag nag-work ka doon. Okay? So, yun yung um, topics na gusto kong pag-usapan natin and then I will be taking this uh, time naman to 
answer your questions, okay? Malinaw po ang explanations. Nakakita ko ng direction. <laughs> okay. Kailangan ba na may contract of agreement para define your yung responsibilities? Cindy, um, two things. Kailangan ba may contract? For me, as much as possible, sana meron. Okay? Lalo na kung um, masyadong vague yung identity nung iyong client. Kumbaga, hindi siya nakikipag-usap sa phone, hindi siya nakikipag-video call man lang, or hindi mo alam yung, yung address ng kanyang company. So, I really suggest, lalo na yung mga mabibilis lang, so, yung mga short-term projects. So, I really want you to have a contract for that. Pero, sa mga virtual assistant, for example, sometimes, ang pinaka- uh, ang pinaka importante lang is hindi hi, nag nag background check ka so kung oh, kasi ginagawa yan ng maraming virtual assistants wala silang contract pero they they work with them long term so that's okay ngayon kung gagawa ka ng contract to define the responsibilities um ang question ko doon is um, depende kung ano yung role na inapplyan mo. If you are a virtual assistant, I really cannot say na define mo yung uh, responsibilities mo as virtual assistants kasi it can go in many directions. As long as kailangan ni client ng support from sa, sa business niya, whether it's web designing or uh, uh, graphic design or kung ano man yan, you will try your best na aralin yun and then explain mo kay client na ito lang kasi yung alam ko. If you want, you can enroll me to courses and I will study and then um, pagka na-study ko na, i-apply ko yung nat- natutunan ko and then I will give you a graphic design. Pwede kasing ganun. So, hindi natin define yung um, roles and responsibility ng isang virtual assistant. Okay? Pero if you applied for a position of social media marketing, then that's good. Ibig sabihin, defined yan, mga social media marketing tasks lang yung gagawin mo. Kapag pinagawa ka ng bookkeeping, then you can ask the client, bakit ka pinapagawa ng bookkeeping? Kung inexplain explain naman ni client na this is just for now, kasi hindi, hindi maayos yung software ko, wala akong time gumawa gan. It's all, uh, uh, depende yon sa mga up sa pag-uusap niyo, okay? If yes, who would provide the contract? Well, as a VA, you should be, you should know how to provide the contract. Kung, lalo na, may mga small business owners, hindi talaga sila gumagawa ng contract. But there are online contracts. Um, yung signable, you can check that. Dati may ginagama, ginagamit ako na free lang. Pero, you can check online, guys. Right? Um, meron din yata DocuSign. So, check na nyo na lang. Pwede kayong gumawa na sarili nyong contract. They didn't approve my Upwork registration according to some of my friends. Uh, yeah, medyo tough talaga ang competition as I've heard sa Upwork. Mostly po, pag sa Upwork, para po ma-approve, make sure po na 100% complete profile. Yun, yun, okay. Makakatulong siguro guys yung lesson ko sa um, personal branding. Um, sometimes, it's just a matter of mixing different skills that you have to make sure that your profile looks more competitive and highly skilled. So, maybe done, okay? No po, up, up. No po, upgrade po ng skill. Paano po mag-upgrade ng skills? Yun ba yung question mo, Eunice? Paano mag-upgrade ng skills? There are so many ways. Una, self-study. Pangalawa, pwede kang mag-mirror sa ginagawa ng isang tao na, for example, you want to become graphic designer, mag-follow ka ng someone na nagpa-publish ng mga ginagawa niya, nagtuturo ng ginagawa niya, so, dun ka matututo. Pwede mong ma-upgrade yung skills mo in doing that. 
by following that person. Next na nga is enrolling to online courses. So, just make sure lang na yung mga online courses na ititake mo is talagang yung nagtuturo is credible, pinagdadaanan niya, mag, ma, malinaw magturo, kumbaga um, okay siya dun sa learning style na meron ka. Minsan kasi may mga super magagaling ang bibilis magturo, tas wala ka natututunan. So, I really recommend you guys na before you follow someone or before you buy an online course, make sure na yung nag-check muna talaga kayo kung matututo kayo dun sa tao na yun. Okay? Huwag kayo mag-panic buying na, ha? Huh? Ano bala to? Uh, may discount. So, bibilihin ko na. Hindi. You should do your research. You should make sure na kung kaya nyo namang aralin on your own, then mag-aral kayo on your own. Okay? Pero kung hindi talaga, seek someone. Mag- mag-google kayo ng mga tao na nag-share ng experience nila, ng knowledge nila, follow nyo yon libre yon Or kung wala talaga, is pumunta na kayo sa mga, sa LinkedIn, LinkedIn Learning and Skillshare and um, uh, Learning Garage ng Google. So, pumunta kayo dun sa mga websites na yon para matuto. Okay? Pero sa tingin ko guys, alam nyo <laughs> ang pinaka problem ng maraming marami sa mga nag apply Sinasabi nila, I've been applying for two years now, ganyan-ganyan. Pero ang totoo, ang ginagawa lang nila is nag apply pero hindi nag-aaral, hindi ini-improve yung skills. Or yung iba naman, iniisip nila na ini-improve nila yung skills by just watching online courses. No, you will only learn it kapag ka ikaw ay nagpa-practice. Yung talagang ginagawa mo mismo. Okay? Kasi, hindi nyo mapapaniwala yung mga client na magaling kayo sa graphic designing kung wala kayong sample ng graphic design. Hindi nyo mapapaniwala yung client nyo na nag-social, magaling, may knowledge kayo sa social media kung hindi nyo naman siya ina-apply. Okay? It's, it, marami sa atin gusto lang easy way. Um, mag-aaral, magt ng course, tapos, alam na lahat. Hindi ganun yun. It takes time, patience, practice, and practice ng practice ng practice. Okay? And in, it involves a lot of action from you. So, hindi lang nanonood ka, hindi lang nakikinig ka. You, you should take action. Kung kailangan mong um, gumawa ng sarili mong website, kung, kaira, kung kailangan mong gumawa ng sarili mong articles, kung kailangan mong gumawa ng sariling graphic designs, then you should practice. Di ba? If, if you want to have a work na, let's say, bookkeeping, then, aaralin mo yung mga software ng bookkeeping. And then, makiki, uh, fa-follow ka sa mga may ganong work. Kung maaari, pwede mo silang kaibiganin kausapin. Maraming ways, guys. It's just that most of us, mali yung strategy natin. Mali yung ginagawa natin na iaasa natin sa pagbabasa, iaasa natin sa pag internet iaasa natin sa turo ng ibang tao. Gaya nito, I've been teaching you guys, we have um, we have resources and giving you weekly training, pero hindi kasi kayo makakakuha ng work. Kung hindi, nyo, kung hindi nyo inaayos yung resume nyo, hindi kayo nagpa-practice mag-English, at hindi kayo nagpa-prepare before mag-interviews, uh, bef- before yung mga interviews nyo, right? So, um, ang masasabi ko lang talaga is, if you really want to achieve success sa ginagawa mo, magkaroon ka ng definite plan. Hindi lang yung Ah, may opening, apply. Tapos, hindi ka magpe-prepare. Hindi ka magre-research. So, walang strategy, walang matalinong movement, walang matalinong um, process na sinusunod in order to achieve that. Kasi, if we are going to use or do the same things over and over and we are expecting different results, hindi talaga, <laughs> hindi talaga yun nag-work, guys. Okay? Um, so, para sa akin, um, ang, ang pinaka-importanteng ingredient is we really, we really need to take action. 
for it. Uh, bakit ko sinasabi yun? Kasi the more that we have something to present to clients, tinanong kanya, do you have experience in writing? Oh, yes, I, I'm writing my blog, ganyan. Kahit na hindi ka naman talaga magaling magsulat, pero nagpa-practice ka, you, if, if you are not a writer, but you are practicing, you are ahead of a lot of many virtual assistants na na walang, walang courage or walang desire na mag-study ng, ng ganong skill. So, it's really a matter of taking action into what you really want to achieve. Alright? So, yun. <clears throat> Ouch! <laughs> Na-ouch si Tony. <laughs> Ayan, the definition of insanity is... <laughs> I agree. Okay. So, yun, guys. Um, if I were you, ang ifo-focus ko sa ngayon is to really improve the English communication skills and then mag-practice mag in- sa, sa mga interview. Merong group na ginawa sila, Mami Connie, sila um, Ao, to practice ng um, English communication. If that's what you want, you can go ahead and join them. Okay? And then, um, if, if you have finished all the units, you can schedule a one-on-one coaching with me. Pero yun nga lang, medyo matagal yun. Um, pero guys, really, if you will just watch the videos, if you will really take action, um, mangyayari yung pinapangarap nyo. Meron lang din akong um, gustong sabihin. Um, balikan natin yung dito, yung sa sinabi, pinakita ko kanina. Um, kung hindi nyo nakikita yung sarili nyo dyan, na general VA, VA specialized, specialized expert, kung wala ka pa dyan sa general VA, ibig sabihin, marami ka pang pagdadaanan. Ibig sabihin, you have to improve your skills, you have to learn a lot of things, pero kahit na gano kadami yung aaralin mo, you should, you should still have focus mag-focus ka sa kung ano yung gusto mo munang matutunan. Take one step at a time. And then, ako, ang, ang, ang practice ko, laging tinuturo sa amin nung client namin, client ko, um, <clears throat> sabi niya, lagi mong titignan yung end result na gusto mong makuha. So, if you, if, if the end result that you want to have is to become really someone na maraming skills, maraming alam gawin, and, and therefore, para ma-achieve mo yun, isulat mo kung ano yung mga bagay na hindi mo pa alam, isulat mo yung mga bagay na sa tingin mo, mahina ka pa, pero, um, meron, meron ka pa rin focus. For example, um, if you were, if you are wanting to start as a virtual assistant, then binigay ko sa inyo yung list ng mga bagay na dapat alam nyo as a virtual assistant. So, mag-start ka doon. Aaralin mo yon, And then, um, kung may hindi ka alam doon, at least man lang, um, I mean, kung hindi mo talaga siya maintindihan, hindi mo siya gusto, at least man lang meron kang idea about it. Pero, it doesn't mean na kailangan maging expert kayo sa lahat ng mga nakalista doon para masabing magaling. Hindi nyo kailangan i-pressure yung sarili nyo doon. The reason why I give, I have given that list is for the purpose of passing the interview. Kasi, kung sa interview pa lang, hindi nyo alam yung mga pinagsasabi nung nag interview sa inyo. Hindi nyo, wala kayong masabi na experience nyo na nagpa-practice kayo to learn that, then you, you will not be, ano, you will not be given a chance talaga. Kasi, they would rather choose someone na may experience na about that. So, ganun, ganun ka stiff ang competition. But, it's not um, it's not parang hindi siya dead end kasi may mga clients na gusto nilang makipag-work sa mga taong wala pang experience pero nakikita nila that they are really decided really uh, focused sila dun sa ginagawa nila okay um, magkakaroon ba ng certification sa SWAG Open University just so para may confirmation that we 
underwent a VA ship training just asking para lang magkaroon ng matibay na proof ng proper VA training from an expert. Hmm. I'm thinking about that. Pero guys, if I will be giving you certificate, I you will really um, mahihirapan. Um, hindi sa pahihirapan, but I will really, I, 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 would, I would like to have um, a thorough training. Yung hindi lang yung basic. Okay? Ibig kong sabihin, thorough training, yung tipong pag na meron kayong certification is, kahit hindi nyo na kailangan yung certification, is matatanggap kayo. Kasi iba, iba, i, ito yung nakikita kong mali, guys, sa atin eh. Um, we are getting certificates para ma-prove na para, para may edge, right? Pero kasi, getting that certificate will not really put you into a good position kung hindi ka super kung hindi ka nag-effort na matuto. I know na I know na important yung certificate, yes, pero more than the certificate, it's ang pinaka important is how you will present yourself during the interview and during the time na uh, tinatanong ka kung ano yung kaya mong gawin. The certificate will not do anything kung ikaw mismo hindi ka confident, hindi mo alam kung paano mo sasabihin yung mga skills na natutunan mo. Um, I would love to do that. So, to answer the question, I would love to do that. Pero kasi, it will take time for me to create that stuff, lalo na I'm working. And um, the facilities, like, wala akong funds to really put up good. Ah, kita nyo nga, di ba? Yung background ko is like yung bahay. And nakikita niyo that I'm just really sharing my experience with you guys. I'm not a business creating um, parang business na talagang um, magbibigay na certificate because I am not. I'm just sharing my my expertise or my knowledge. Um, nakatulong ba yung mga <laughs> may certificate ba ako nung nag-apply? Wala. Wala akong certificate. But Um, ang sinasabi ko is, instead of really getting that certification, it's really good to have that, but more than getting the certificate, you should have, matutunan natin yung confidence to speak about what we can do and be confident that we can deliver. Right? So, yun. Um, hopefully, I cannot really promise na merong certification sa Swag Open University kasi hindi pa hindi ko pa hindi ko pa siguro siya maaasikaso ng ganun lalo na I'm working but I would love to do that siguro matatagalan pa if 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 I will do certification tsaka um i expect niyo na if ever that I will have a certification yung magkakaroon ng certification ng work at home geek lalabas kayo dun sa certification or sa training program na kahit pa wala yung training, kahit pa wala yung certificate, alam niyo confident kayo na makakakuha kayo ng work. That's the kind of training that I really would like to establish. So, yon. Hopefully, hopefully magawa natin siya and we will, I, I really I am taking one step at a time. So, I'm sharing the knowledge that I have and then um I am uh collating all the information that I know that I can share. So, yon. Um, yun ang ating <laughs> yun ang ating uh, future plans. I hope that answered your question, Cindy. So, I'm sorry if there's no certification when we open the Open University, <laughs> when we launch the Open University, but yeah. Um, hopefully the goal is to make you guys confident. Kahit pa wala kayong certificate, kapag in-interview kayo, the clients will understand that you are really competitive and that you are a good person or a good addition to their business, okay? For me, no need certificate. Para lang yun sa mga taong <coughs> naging successful in life kahit di sila ba or walang diploma. Your compassion to help us is more than enough. Thank you so much, Mami Glo. Yan. So, um, other questions, guys. Um... Just to give you the updates dun sa ginagawa na natin na um, Open University is hopefully by October, ma-launch natin siya. Hindi ko talaga siya 
masingit, lalo na super uh, busy yung schedule. And, yun nga, um, maraming, marami ding, ma- um, mahima, mahirap pagsabay-sabayin lahat, lalo na luma- lu- uh, lumalaki yung ating page. Yun. So, but definitely, we will launch it before October. Before or, or maybe on October. Okay? Knowledge and passion is more powerful than certificate. Wow. Okay. Other questions, guys? May questions pa ba tayo? Um, kung wala, bigyan ko lang kayo ng mga reminders. Reminders is, yung una-una, we've, I've published the SMM Handbook. So, para sa mga gustong matuto ng social media marketing. So, get the social media, uh, the SMM Handbook. And free po yun. <laughs> Wala kayong babayaran doon. And I really encourage you guys to, if you want to pursue the social media marketing na skill, is to start creating your own page and really work on developing the skills based on sa experience na meron kayo, hindi lang through online courses. Okay? Lala, pwede bang mag-request ng mga terminology sa SMM like me? I'm managing a page, but I really don't know what you call those things that I'm doing. I'm sure maraming you've been dear and familiar with the terminology. Okay. Terminologies. Oh, sige. Pwede yun. Pwede kong idagdag yun. Pwede kong idagdag yun. Lalagay natin yung mga terminologies. Hi, Lala. Off topic. Kamusta na po health nyo? Wag po masyado. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, Marichu. Really appreciate it. Um, as of the moment, guys, um, medyo, medyo, ano, yung liquid ko, medyo sumasakit talaga siya. Pero, um, what's good about it is, hindi siya nagla-last for buong araw. So, from time to time lang. Um, tapos, hindi din sumasakit yung ulo ko. So, praise God. Yun talaga yung kalaban ko. Hindi ako nakapag-work ng maayos pag masakit yung ulo ko. Pag masakit yung likod ko, that's okay. Hihiga lang ako. Tapos, yun. Um, pero really, um, good news siguro, mga masasabi ko, <laughs> kapag ka nag-exercise ako, mas, mas, marami ng, mas marami na ako nagagawa. Mas matindi na yung exercise na ginagawa ko to really um, promote blood circulation and mas ma-strengthen yung bones and mas masaya mas masaya lang kasi di ba pag mas masaya ka yung pain parang ma overpower na nung kasiyahan mo so yon um, maganda maganda yung progress ko doon so thank you for asking uh, Marichu please add sa skill ang bookkeeper ha Christy i i i think um you it's better mas mapapabilis ka if you will follow yung mga tao na nag may experience talaga sa bookkeeping because i do not have experience of bookkeeping and I don't like working on spreadsheets so it's not something na talaga matuturo ko ng um, maayos so I recommend um, follow mo yung mga tao hopefully may nag-share ng knowledge if you are doing a bookkeeping bookkeeping guys and you have a generous heart to share then that's good um, you, why not share your knowledge sa iyong um uh, sa iyong audience and magkaroon ka ng social media presence then yon love you lala <laughs> love you to mommy rose thank you po ayon so we we don't have questions na wow ang bilis ng oras Naka, naka one hour 15 13 minutes na exercise pa po yes christy <laughs> kayo ba nag exercise sino dito ang madalas nag exercise lalo na yung mga nag-work at home madalas Hindi na nag exercise kasi lagi lang nasa loob ng bahay. <laughs> Sino ang hindi nag Kamusta yung inyong um, exercise? So, tingnan ko kailangan kong i-share yung mga, ano, no, yung mga routines ko minsan. Kaya lang, ma-off topic naman sa work at home. <laughs> but, uh, siguro sa ano lang. Siguro sa ba, ano na lang. Sa, sa, sa loob na lang ng swag team. No? <laughs> nice to hear that. Hoping magtuloy-tuloy na. At sana gumaling na ng tuluyan. Sorry guys sa noise ha. Pero I hope naririnig niyo ako ng maayos. Maraming dogs dito. <laughs> Ayan. So helpful kasi ng page na to. Yes po. Um, super thankful din ako sa mga prayers niyo guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Ayan. So um, next 
uh, next namin next na next na agenda ko talaga is to create workshop. So workshop para ha, um, hands on training. So it, this is about really focusing having a, a clear super ano ako super um gusto kong kung meron siguro kayong kung meron akong gusto, isang bagay lang na i- ma-impart sa inyo guys is I want you guys to have a focus on in, sa career path nyo. I, uh, mahirap kapag uh, gusto nyo lang maging virtual assistant, tapos wala kayong specific skill na gustong i-improve, mahirap yun. Um, lagi kayong babalik back to zero, back to zero. Wala kayong specialty, wala kayong edge. So, if there's one thing na gusto ko talaga sabihin sa inyo guys is hanapin nyo yung one thing na sa tingin nyo ay magbibigay ng edge sa inyo. So, if you are good in creating graphic design, so, it really, it revolves around social media marketing, graphic designing, bookkeeping, yung mga essential needs ng businesses, um, financial, um, ano pa ba, um, video editing, yan, napaka-importante. So, if there's one thing that I really want you guys to pursue is to have a clear career path. Whether may client ka ngayon o wala ka pang client, it's good that you have knowledge about everything but at least magkaroon ka ng focus. So, hindi ko alam kung gano'ng katagal nyo ma-achieve yon, but I really want you guys to have a focus dun sa gusto nyong aralin and that is, um, that will take you long way kasi, um, during, marami, super makakatulong yun. Like, pag in-interview kayo, you will tell them, Shh! You will tell them that you are really passionate about one thing that really sets you apart. So, if there's one client na talagang yun ang hinahanap, then meant to be kayo ni client na yun, okay? So, I hope that everything na ginagawa nyo ngayon is nakakatulong doon sa end goal nyo. Okay? Anything na ginagawa nyo ngayon na hindi nakakatulong sa end goal nyo, please stop it. <laughs> Kasi hindi siya nakakatulong. Therefore, um, ano man yung mga habits na yan, ano man yung mga thinking na yan na hindi nakakatulong sa inyong end goal, stop it. Okay? But the main important thing that you should do is to have a focus. You should have a clear vision of who you want to become, let's say, um, in the future. So, you know, mag-focus ka doon, Work on it, work hard, don't waste time, and ang lagi kong sinasabi, lagi ka, everyone has a chance. Kung hindi ka magaling doon, pero inaaral mo, you are one step ahead of many people. Okay? So, yun lang guys, and I hope, ah, uh, how about na plan po meet up? May schedule na po? Um, wala pa pong schedule yung meet up natin, but hopefully by October then. So, hmm, um unfortunately Luzon lang muna <laughs> Luzon lang muna sa ano sa yung gagawin nating meet up plus workshop and then it will be limited for a group of people maybe 20 pinakamadami na yung 30 so um unahan na lang tayo sa registration and then I'll just do another set of workshop next time so then gagamit uh, gag- gaganapin ko siya sa Batangas sa rest house ng aking uh, professor so it's a huge, um, not really parang fancy rest house, pero makakapag-relax. At, at the same time, it's a good place for us to learn and to have fun and meet each other. So it will be 20, 20, but siguro kung maraming hahabol, 30 is okay. So 20 to 30 people lang yung ma-accommodate ko dun sa workshop. Okay, and then hopefully, ang plan ko dun sa workshop is one night, two days. So... Yun ang gusto ko. And um, I know that many of you are moms. So, the place will still be able to accommodate kids. So, yun yung na- na-visualize ko. Um, by October, mapaplansya ko na yung mga uh, de- details nun. And then, I will send it out. Okay? So, yun. <laughs> okay. Um, what's the difference ng graphic and web design? Um, Christy, you should be googling it para mas definite but the main difference graphic is visual web it means so website okay so yun yun okay na we use graphic 
where we use graphic design. Marami po. Gagaya nitong nakikita nyo sa screen ko, graphic design yan. Pwede yan maging um, graphic design kung gagawin mong picture, kung gagawin mong infographic. So, yun. Anything na nagbibigay ng visual information that's a graphic design. Okay? Ayun. <laughs> Thank you, my three boys ako. Alright. So, guys, I really, as much as I want to stay with you, um, I know that marahi pa rin kayong gagawin. And let's meet again next Saturday, 2pm, same time. And um, I hope na before uh, before this day ends, mapag-isipan nyo kung ano ba yung nakikita nyo um, end goal ninyo. Ano ba yung nakikita nyo future nyo as someone na, as as a freelancer or as a as a virtual professional, okay? So, yun yung pag-isipan nyo and mag maglista kayo ng mga big steps, small steps na gagawin nyo to achieve that end goal that you want to have for your life. Okay? Because that can if if you will if you will stick to it, then I'm sure na Kahit pa gano'ng katagal, as long as ginagawa nyo, that's, that's okay. Hindi kailangan magmadali. As long as you stay disciplined and you stay focused. Right? Okay. Location ng workshop. Uh, sa Batangas po. Sa, sa Kalatagan, Batangas. Yun. May client na ako la nag-message ako kanina. Wow! Congratulations, Ana, Ana Liz. Guys, congratulate natin si Liz. May client na siya. Wow! Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Hopefully, mag-learn, marami ka matutunan dito sa iyong client na to, Liz. Congratulations. Liz has been, ano, um, really helping the, the, the swag team. So, um, super thankful ako kay Liz kasi nag- ang sipag-sipag magsagot ng mga messages. Sometimes ako, iniisip ko, shucks, ang dami ko na yatang messages. Tapos makikita ko, oh, sinagot na pala nila. It's such a relief. Super helpful. Kaya super thankful ako kay Liz. Ayon. Congratulations, Liz. Para sa mga um, naghahanap ng client, makikita nyo din yon. Just have to stay focused. Yung courage and strategy, dapat nandyan yan. Okay? So, um, have a wonderful um, weekend. Lalo na Sunday tomorrow. So, Let's all worship and praise God sa Sunday. And let's continue doing all the things that we are doing for our family and of course, for God. So, have a great day everyone. Bye-bye. I'll be ending this session now.